Let's bury it for our friends. Well, we have some type of land disruption here. It literally looks like it was just shovels digging out a shrub. We're not sure. We don't have much footage of this area. This is where a lot of people think the log cabin's gonna go. Definitely. Definitely? Yeah. I mean, I don't think there's anything anything definite, but I dig the fact that you're saying those waterfalls might come back. Oh, I yeah. just like anything that's nonsense. You know oh, what I mean? Yeah. Like, oh yeah, I see it. I don't know what it means. It's like hard to say if that's full of water and that string, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what that string is tied to something, but like we said before, there is definite work here going on to possibly restore this pump to the waterfall. What do you think? What do you think is going on with that string? Um, I think they're pulling out something really small. I don't know. They might be pulling out some debris that got stuck in there over the years, but. I super hope that it's a string that's going through the pipe to run a bigger rope to clean the pipe out. Because why would you clean the pipe yeah. out? Why would you be replacing anything from a fountain pump you're not gonna use? It wouldn't make any sense, uh -uh. right? Wait, let me know your idea. Give it so, up, Ace. Maybe when the waterfall used to be there, something broke it, and it was something that went into there. So maybe they're trying to put the rope in so they could get that out and they could get the waterfall going again. Yeah, I think so too. I think that even if it was broken from before, but it's very, very cool that that grates off there, and now we're seeing definite some kind of work going on to this pump motor. Yeah. That's awesome. The ropes, the ropes sell it wide. And the, bo the boats look great. And am I the only one that noticed all the boats and all the renderings are different colors, right? Yes. We have a yellow boat, we, we have like a green so, boat, so, and something like kind of brown. So some of them are gonna be camo green, like a dark green. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, I've seen that. And I've then, seen that color in the and, renderings, and yeah. And then, uh, then tan. And t oh! So we'll have two, and that's where we're getting that lighter brown, I'm thinking, because it's in the shaded section where the Yeti's at. Yeah. So they just colored it as a darker because the shadow. Yeah. But yes, 100%, I agree. I think there will be two cabins. I yes. don't think there's going to be one. No. Oh, no. Yeah. I think there's going to be one here where yeah, you guys are saying here, because if you look in that picture, we can't get in, remember, because you got to respect the chain, yes. right? So we can't get past there, but there's a rook in that tree, and the tree here on the side of the river has that same bend in it. It's like yeah. like a little bend in it. You look at the side of the photo here, it's got it. After we got done filming this segment, we also realized that the building in the background of the artist's rendering is none other than Wilderness Broiler. You can see, like we said in another construction update, there's marker flags here. For some reason, there's marker flags there. And that's gonna be either for electrical or plumbing or gas. We don't know because we don't have schematics and we're not working on this project, right? But if that's where the bear is gonna be, then the cabin should go somewhere over here in the artist's rendering, right where those flags are. And if, it, if that's the case, are we gonna walk through the cabin? Or is it gonna be an interactive portion of the line to make the line not seem as long like they do at Disney? Have to A, remove something. Yeah. There's no room in there, right? And there's a, there's like this beautiful video going around the internet right now of Bob Gurr giving this interview of when they built Confrontation, the original one here oh, in Hollywood, right? Yeah. And he talks about the way the gorilla works, right? And I think we are gonna get that same thing. I think we're gonna get the gorilla, not the actual one, but, but I mean the some type of Sasquatch. like Bob Gurr style animatronic like that because he talked about using fur for free motion. Oh! King Kong is just standing there. His upper body is animated, but his arms have no uh, muscles in them and his hands are connected to the cable. The cable, in turn, is connected to the bridge, but the bridge is driven by a hydraulic system. Our Yeti yeah. is going to be grabbing the rocks, yeah. just like Kong yeah. grabbed the rails of the bridge. And this so cable appears that King Kong is shaking the cable, which of course is shaking the bridge. Our previous construction update, the Owl Creek commented that Garner Holt will be doing this coal refurbishment, which almost makes us 100% sure that we'll be having a huge animatronic. But that leaves a question. What fur will it end? Take the snow! No, 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 Don't forget to book your stay at knotshotel.com.
they have a huge pool and soak zone that is only available to guests. Not only does the hotel have exclusive guest only areas, but you can book a Camp Snoopy room. And complete vacation packages are available. So what are you waiting for? Head over to KnottsHotel.com. You'll get to stay the night with Snoopy.